Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a color coordinates that I'm titling Fall Thanks and it's full of beautiful colors of leaves. I am starting off with five colors and I have chosen Sparrow, Beanstalk Green, Merlot, Coral Reef, and Duckling. I am working with the new Large Stitch Maple Leaf and Large Stitched Oak Leaf and these are brand new from Simon Says Stamp and they have that stitching in the center for the vein of the leaves. I'm also working on 120 pound Nina White cardstock because it's really super smooth and it takes the inks really well. And I'll also be using the life changing brushes from Picket Fence. I'll be starting on just a full sheet of paper first and I'm gonna outline my leaves just to get a general idea of where I wanna place my inks. I'll trace four leaves in total and then I can start inking. I'll be starting off with duckling ink first and I'm just running my brush over some paper towel. I'm not sure what color I used before. To use these brushes you swirl them into the ink and then onto your paper and I like to test it a little bit first up in the corner to see how much ink I'm going to get in the beginning. Once you start adding your ink you'll get a feel for how much pressure and how much ink to add to get a nice blend. I'll be wiping down my brush each with each color that I use and this way I won't contaminate my ink pads. So once I have that cleaned off I can move on to another color and continue blending those together. Once I have my base colors down I can cut up the paper and then use my die cuts to die cut my initial leaves. What's fun about doing it this way is each leaf will be unique and at this point it is a little bit faded but my inks are blended well. The next step I'll do is to go in with a smaller brush to get a little more concentrated color. By using the smaller size I can get into some of those corners and create more detail. What's nice about coloring onto the full sheet is you add a layer of ink so that your second inking with the smaller brush is a little bit smoother. So these are turning out really pretty and once I have enough color on them I can add an additional layer of splattered gold paint. So I'm using American Crafts Paper Fashion Paints and this is just a really nice light gold. And I've watered that down quite a bit and I'm using a larger brush to just splatter some paint right over the leaves. I've cut a panel of dark chocolate cardstock and this is four and a quarter by five and I'm doing the same technique of splattering some gold paint randomly for a nice effect. With everything dry, I've laid out the design that I would like to create, and I'll be adding some adhesive tape to the back of the oak leaves, and then I'll be adding these to the card where they'll hang off just a little bit, and I can trim off the excess when I'm done. For a bit of dimension, I've added some foam tape to the back of the maple leaves, so I'll take off the backing paper, and I can place this right back onto the card, and I can do the same with my last leaf. These leaves almost glow with all their color and that gold ink splattering really sets them off. To finish my card off, I have die cut the bold thanks from Simon Says Stamp with some copper paper and also used a Simon Says Stamp sentiment strip to complete my greeting. So we have a lot of nice shine and beautiful color for this color coordinates. Here's another look at my finished card. All these colors really blended well together and the Sparrow ink gave me a really nice warm mushroom tone. Everything came to life once I added the gold splatters and also the copper die cut message. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of my color coordinates using some die cuts and Simon's Stamp inks to create a nice fall card. Remember that you can download all of the color coordinates to date. I have a link to the blog post in the description box below for you to check out. And as always, thanks so much for watching.